Hello friends, my name is Alex Arks, and in this video we're going to be looking at all of the hard get there challenges in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remaster. I'm going to be going through every single hard get there challenge and basically showing you the route I take and discussing any nuances or difficult sections that you need to keep an eye out for. Now I would recommend maximum stats, however it is not necessary to have max stats to complete all of the get there's. Some of them can be completed with pretty basic character stats, however there are some gaps that are very difficult to obtain unless you have maximum stats. I would recommend doing all of the hard get there's in ranked and free skate mode. If you just jump into the free skate mode, you'll have all the time in the world to travel around the map, find the gaps and do your combos. So starting in warehouse, you need to start off by just doing a boneless over the pipe enter into a manual and then grind along the top of the quarter pipe all the way till the end to get the holy she gap. On school you need to be in the alley behind the gym and then you instigate the combo by jumping over the garbage bin and then grinding the dumpster rail and connecting the rail on the opposite side. Then move forward, grind over the planters to get two planter gaps, revert off the ramp and then grind onto the wall here slide back onto the rail and then manual and kick over the kicker gap. In the mall you need to be in the first atrium section and then you need to jump over the staircase on the left. Now you need to keep up some high speed so I grind some rails here to then enter a manual and to jump over the escalator stair gap. Now we need to keep the combo going all the way to the bottom of the mall so keep grinding, wall riding and manualing your way there. In this food court area you need to get up onto the wall to grind and keep your speed up. Jump off and manual and get into the middle of the room to go down into this section. And to get the final gap you need to wall ride and then jump off as I do there. And that will complete the huge stair set gap. On skate park you need to get yourself up onto this ledge here that overlooks these two rails. And this is where we're going to start the combo so we're going to jump grind onto this rail. You then need to jump over this fun box which can be quite hard to do because you need to be square on to get the best angle. Um, if you manage it though, spine transfer into the half pipe and then transfer over to the smaller quarter. Grind around the pool. Now I end up going around twice because I don't actually know where I get the gap. As you can see I end up with two around the bends but then you come off and then jump over the wall gap junior and that is your windy walkway combo. Downtown you need to use the little kicker ramps where you start to get the kicker gap and then jump up onto the road. Get into a manual and then you're going to jump over this car here to get the car ollie. You need to then grind against this wall here to pick up some extra speed to then be able to make the cheesy deck gap. On downhill jam you're going to have to jump up and grind either the rail or the quarter pipe on either the left or right hand side. Either way you're going to have to manual down, go over this ramp here and then shoot off this ramp to at least get the 50 foot gap. You need to keep the manual going and then use these rails here to grind as well to try and break the combo up a bit. I find that jumping through the checkpoint line for the teleport is the best way to keep the combo going. Um, it gives you more time to kind of land. Here you can be a bit screwed if you land on the edge of the quarter pipe area um, you'll instantly bail and then you just need to grind on the side of the half pipe that you didn't grind on your first run down because um, you have to do the left side and the right hand side. Burnside is nice and easy you just got to jump up lip this edge here revert and then manual over the blue hump in the ground. This is the only difficult bit is these connecting jumps here between the grinds. That first one is angled in such a way that if you have too much speed you'll shoot over it so just make sure you're going nice and slow. On streets you need to jump up and grind this ledge here for your backwards ledge. Manual through the door and then it will open up and let you grind down this here for the down the spiral gap. You can connect these two rails here for the rail to rail gap and then you just need to maintain a manual all the way to the edge of the fountain where you can then jump up and then grind around it to complete the streets hard get there challenge. Roswell is a very difficult get there challenge. As you can see I need to get a lot of speed to complete the high deck gap. So what I will do is, is I will go up and then I will boneless off the edge here and use a spine transfer to get the high deck gap. 
I'll then grind the edge to get some speed and then manual through where the alien is in here. I will then jump up, grind these three rails to get the grey grind gap, manual up onto this edge here and then grind. I do end up actually missing that jump, but I end up getting the gap all the same and completing the level. Corner hopper in a hangar. This one's nice and easy, so you just need to jump out of that half pipe there and get onto the light for the little light hopper. Jump through and keep grinding the lights. I have actually completed the combo by this stage, but for some reason I, I keep grinding and, and doing extra tricks. Probably just to show off. You've just got to get up onto the lights, make a couple of light jumps and make the right hand corner. Now, School 2 is a particularly difficult level. This one actually has a little setup that you need to do. So you need to travel past the gym and down to the left side, you'll find this, this corner here where you'll jump and hit into the basketball hoop, which will then fall over. Once you've done that, you can now use the basketball hoop and its stand as a grind. And this will form a critical part of the combo we're going to be running. So back up at the start, you want to grind down this very first rail here, and that will get you the roll call nightmare rail. You'll then want to jump here just to avoid the manual dropping. Sometimes if you go off a, a ledge too fast, the manual will drop. Um, that's the gym rail to rail, and we jump up here and get the gons rail. We go round the ledge and use that basketball hoop that we dropped down. We've got to keep going and keep our speed up, which is why we keep grinding as many rails as we can. Now, this final rail is very annoying because the gap only activates when we come down it. So this is where I dropped a lot of combos here. But if you use the top of those lockers, you can then wall plant, get back round, and then you grind down the rail to get the open sesame rail and complete school two. Marseille is a pretty easy one. You would start here, jump over this bin, and then get your manual going. Get into this bowl and transfer over the bench. You now need to get back out of the bowl. Use this ledge to transfer to the rail. Ensure that you stay in a manual. This will help you drop some speed for these rail-to-rail -rail jumps here. And then box-to-box -box jump off the back of that. In New York, I do not get the park entrance gap first. Instead, I go through the park and get the you're next in line gap and then jump into the sit down and grab a snack gap. You have to watch out for the taxis here because they will knock you over. Uh, so I will be manualing round here just to get back up on the wall and to get the park entrance jump, which is very nicely just across the road from the Joey sculpture. So just jump, grind down this and end the combo. Venice, this is a very difficult one. You need to transfer up onto the roof here. I find that just jumping into a grind is the best way. Sometimes that ramp to roof doesn't activate, so you need to be careful of that. Grind the skylight to get some speed to make the jump over here for the canyon jump. Now you need to get onto this bench or set of benches and manual across the whole lot to trigger all of the gaps and you need touchdown. In Skate Street, I'll jump up and grind this birdhouse sign and then drop down to get the extension transfer and the grind around the bowl. I will then manual and go down this hill. For some reason, I jump this hex box just to add it in. You then need to just get enough speed by grinding the edge here and get back up to grind the edge of this quarter pipe to get the surfing USA gap. Get this rail, jump down, transfer over this wall and remember if you need to level out, hold R2 to make sure you land. In Philly, you need to get up onto the water treatment roof here and then start by grinding this rail and transferring to the telephone wire. Now, keep going along this for a little bit and then jump off and enter a manual. If you do it too early, you will lose speed because that road is actually on a hill. You need enough manual speed to obviously get over that fun box wheelie gap. You then get your bench gap there, hop back up into the planter and then travel up this wire here. If you keep losing speed, just keep jumping and re-entering a grind all the way till the end to get the fly-by wire gap and then land the combo for the Philly Flying Wheelie. Bullring is a difficult level. You first need to get into the stands before you start the combo because we're going to jump off this ramp here to the right and land on this banana box. 
We'll then jump down into a manual and we want to line ourselves up so we can get a good revert off this ramp and grind up this rail. Now you're going to need to re-grind to get some extra speed to clear the gap at the top. You do have a flat section which you can use. We then want a manual round here, grind this rail to keep our speed up quite high, turn round and get up and grind this rail, wall plant and slam down to get nail in the rail and then use this ramp here to get back up into the stands to finish the combo. Chopper drop is a nice and easy level. Just make sure you get special. If we go as high as we can up that large quarter pipe section, we then come all the way down it and we boneless off the ramp. We can then get all three distance gaps in one. Skate Heaven, this is a very random and tricky one. We need to clear the gaps in the handrails here. Um, they kink at the ends, which make it really difficult to judge when you jump which direction you're going to go. Um, it will take probably two passes at least as you can see I only got three out of the four gaps since three are on the clearings here and then the fourth one is a crossover at the end. That's all for this video. I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I do hope that you found this helpful and helps you get through all those hard get there challenges. If you have found it helpful, please leave a like and click on subscribe to stay up to date with me and my content. I'd just like to say once again, friends, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm, bye!